Good morning. I hope everyone's doing well at home. My name is Joy, and I'll be sharing a short passage of scripture that God has highlighted for me over the past few weeks. While doing my devotionals the other night, a verse in 2 Timothy that talked about how God has entrusted us with his word made me think about a passage from the book of Psalm. In Psalm 119, verses 9 to 16 says, How can a young man keep his way pure? By guarding it according to your word. With my whole heart I seek you. Let me not wander from your commandments. I have stored up your word in my heart that I might not sin against you. Blessed are you, O Lord. Teach me your statutes. With my lips I declare all the rules of your mouth. In the way of your testimonies, I delight as much as in all riches. I will meditate on your precepts and fix my eyes on your ways. I will delight in your statutes. I will not forget your word. So this passage shows us the importance of reading God's word and storing it up in our hearts. For a long time, I didn't really understand why I had to read the Bible because I thought my relationship with God stemmed from the emotions I felt when I was moved by him. I let my faith in him be determined by how I felt after hearing a sermon or how I felt after a worship session, and that's obviously different each week and an unstable way to see my relationship with God. I guess reading the Bible just felt like a task to me, but I slowly realized that God is actually just trying to speak to us through the Bible. In one of Pastor Rowe's Friday night messages a couple weeks ago, he mentioned this quote by Jen Wilkins that I thought was really well said. She says in one of her books, the heart cannot love what the mind does not know. I wanted to get to know God, but I was asking my heart to lead my mind, and that's actually the opposite of what I should have been doing, because the heart cannot love what the mind does not know. Through reading the Bible and keeping God's word in our hearts, we can keep our ways pure, not wander from his commandments, and fix our eyes on his way. If we set our minds in the right place, our hearts will follow, and we'll still be able to have that genuine, loving relationship with God, but it'll be unwavering because our minds are in the right place. So since the start of the semi-quarantine, I've been trying to read the Bible more each day and really dwell on what he's trying to tell me through his word. Although this global pandemic has brought a lot of confusion, sorrow, and frustration into the world, I hope everyone can find messages of peace and hope in his word. Thanks for listening, and I hope you have a great week.